Hi, good afternoon. I've been wondering whether to start some kind of vlog. So this could be vlog one, or it could just be some clip I leave on the computer and never use. But here we are walking along the canal. We're near Atherston in Warwickshire. And basically I thought I'd just bring the drone out for a bit, see what we can see. See if we can catch any trains on the line over there. See what boats we see. Here we have the Atherston Locks. This is Lock 11. I believe this is the bottom of the Atherston Flight. So this is the lowest point on the Atherston Flight of Locks. Here we go, Lock 11. Let's do it properly. Let's go up the steps. Across the lower double gate. We can see this like water holding pound or whatever it is. And walking further up to the top of this lock, a ladder. If you're single handedly boating or need to climb out, top gate is a single gate for some reason. There is the sill, that's this bit here, sill, that's when this gate was built, 2002, it's renewed, walking across again, single paddle, we have a post here where the horse, horse many years ago, would have pulled the rope around this side, Pull the barge into the lock, but obviously then fill the lock up, open the gate, and the horse would carry on pulling the barge up to the next lock. Zoom in, although the quality is going to be rubbish. Lock number 10, carrying on up the flight to when you get to Afton. Looking back at this post, you can actually see. The rope marks. Now this post, it could be, oh, it could be a hundred years old. Looking at the lock gates, obviously we saw the builder's plate 2002. So the rope marks on the gate beam, long gone. Beautiful. So then, the plan was to magically appear at Atherston Top Lock. However, I got hopelessly lost in Atherston, but found a co-op, so I bought some goodies. Some good goodies include a few ciders for later on. I approve. And then I came across Marley, as in Bob Marley, Mellow Mood Light Mango Juice. I don't know whether it's fizzy, or whether it's still. I'm guessing it's going to be fizzy, but there we go. Bob Marley also. A parachutist for the drone. Let's give it a go. Let's try again, shall we? Atherston Lock near the Hat Factory. Lock number one, top lock, top of the Atherton Fly. Cross the lock, single top lock gate again, lock compound, down, imaging gear, and there we have a lock cottage. Walking through. We obviously have a Oh, oh, oh. So then we've just been to Atherston Locks, bottom lock, then top lock, not the entire flight. Of course canals originally built carry coal. From the coal fields to the industrial heartlands. Here we are now. 
Boma Colliery site, this is Door Mill Colliery. This is in Warwickshire, not all that far from Coventry. A door mill closed because of an underground fire a few years ago that they couldn't put out. It was going to be unviable to put the fire out, restart mining. So it's closed down and it was mothballed and there's nothing left of it, just rubble concrete structures, a few bits of old railway line. So now I'm just going to take you a short bit of siding. Well, if it's still there, I can see already the signal has gone. So, here last time I visited a few months ago. It must be some little scumbag habit. Does not have the tracker. As you can see, there's a short stretch of the track. Along here, and that runs to a buffer stop. The signal, however, Boom, gone. Door mill. Shortcut. 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 Ooh. Don't want to fall in there. Shortcut. Shortcut. Do 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 well, I suppose you would class it as a narrow gauge. Let's just gauge it. Here we go. One, two, three foot, and an inch or so gauge. There we are. Yeah. Boom. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that washing line there. Derp fans, they've gone derp. Do 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 do. Oh, 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 it's shit. Oh, it's really shit. It's really, really shit. That was that. Now then, the only significant pieces of, I guess, mining, um, interest left are the two half pit wheels and then two guess, pulley wheels that would have hoisted stuff up to the top of the headstocks. Now even these little ones are fairly big, fairly heavy, we can't move them, we can't nick them. There we go, door mill. Let's hope the car's still there. I can still see the car. Let's hope maybe stuck a bit through his window. Yes, in this bit would have been obviously there's the main entrance, security hut, main drag, a nice flower planter. I'm going to guess this would be reception, admin. Tiled floor. Yes. There's the second half of the pit wheel. Painted slightly to mark it up because this one. And you can clean the grease out the groove. Got some rat bags tagged on it. Anyway, this one is a bit of a memorial to the fallen miners of Door Mill. Here we have it, yeah. As you can see, it's faded slightly, but. I've got a picture before it was faded and weather damaged. It was those brave men that worked underground. Here we go. Security hut. Trashed. Trash. Trash. Pointless boarding it up, steel shuttering it up. Odd circular speed bump. Very odd. And this was a big surprise when I got here. The gate, the main gate, wide open. 
almost tempting to drive the car straight in and be that lazy but I wasn't sure what I was going to find when I got in there so the car is there, it's still there in fact let's do a good deed for the day let's close the gates Plaque is gone. It did say door mill there, but some little scrotum has ripped it off, smashed it off, nicked it. So here we are, vlog one part two, just on the old, well, new bicycle, cycling round to the marina office because it's the first of July. And it's my first ever instalment of mooring fee. Just along the path and on the bike. And bike. And all the way around. Power station, Ratcliffe on the sort. I'll catch you all later. I'm sat on narrowboat fuzzy duck. The sun's shining now actually. Who fancies a tour of it? Excuse the mess that I make, I'm still sorting a few bits out and gradually bringing more stuff on board. So behind this panel is the engine controls into the galley area, a total mess but we've got a normal gas cooker, a sink under here, hot and cold water, here's the boiler, there goes the hot and cold water, well gives the hot water, we've got a 12 volt panel, this shows what the leisure batteries are doing, and this one is for 240 volts when the shoreline is plugged in. Safety features. Oh, and then these are for turning the batteries on and off. Next area is like a dining area. This table, however, drops down and makes dual bed. Now, the two sections on the left and right here. First off, we've got a small wardrobe. On the left here we've got a toilet, tiny basin, at the moment it's a manky pump out toilet. And on the right hand side is a shower which I've been trying to clean out. The front area can be bunk beds, or the top section drops down and it's a sofa. Small table. And the log burner when I when I fix it up. Rolled up bike. And the view out the front. So if you're sleeping on this bunk bed, how's that for a view in the morning? Beautiful. And running back through this way from the boat. Another fire extinguisher. Mirror, mirror. Absolute mess at the moment. And if I lift this board, there's the engine. Beautiful evening. Excuse the monkey window. A few jobs done today. We've got the mirror up. Look at it reflecting on the roof. Power station out this side. No smoke coming out today. I don't know if it's on shut down. Managed to get the picture finally hot. Hard to catch it without reflections. Mm. 
beautiful. 